Our university was established in 1995. In the beginning it was small medical college and then after 12 years in 2007 we made rebranding of our university. We changed our name and this name Caucasus International University appears from 2007 and we introduced new faculties in the university. Now we have five faculties in our university, Faculty of Law, Faculty of Business, Faculty of Viticulture and Winemaking, Faculty of uh, Social Sciences and our Faculty of Medicine. On the Faculty of Medicine we have specialities of general medicine, dentistry and pharmacy and we are very glad that many foreign students are now studying at our university. We have more than 1,000 foreign students and they are from several countries all over the world. I would like to say that all Indian students are welcome to Caucasus International University and we will be very glad if we have more and more Indian students here. Dean of Medical Faculty at Caucasus International University, Professor Lali Mekokeshwili. I'm a doctor dermatologist. I, uh, I'm working here uh, till 2016 as a Dean of Medical Faculty. We serve about 1,500 students in our faculty and among them are about 800 international students. We have two international programs in English. This is uh, dentistry and medicine. You are right, there are many uh, medical schools in Georgia. So this CIA is a university um, with different faculties and med medical faculty is among five faculties at CIU. So uh, the medicine is a uh, very important point for CIU. In 2018, university got an authorization. Uh, this authorization we got from uh, our national agency, but uh, it like as international recognition because uh, in this process we are involved uh, not only local experts as well international experts from Europe, uh, and we got international accreditation in medical program, which is six year education. We were first medical school who got this accreditation. We were very successful and uh, uh, international experts, they expressed their respect to mm -hmm. our university and to our program. And we are very happy uh, with this fetish which they give uh, to us after they were in the university. They mm -hmm. checked our program, they checked our facilities, mm -hmm. our clinics where our students are in practical parts of medical education. So uh, I, would, uh, I would like to underline that uh, our program is an um, updated program. This is new one, uh, which means integration. Integration is very modern, but very important. It means that students at the beginning of study year, at the first year of education, they start correlation with clinics. They can see patients, of course they can't do nothing at that moment, but they can realize what the medicine is. Uh, at the beginning, they start anatomy, for example, histology in one module, and they can understand integrative why they learn this subject, because they then see the patients with the problem and they can make connection with the theoretical knowledge and the practical skills. We have mm -hmm. here a uh, very um, big and uh, nice center. Mm -hmm. Not all the universities have this kind of center. This is a clinical skills center which uh, 
provides our students the practical knowledge. Students can uh, work on simulators. Uh, we have here OSCE exam, which means that student can student had sh to show us they are practical skills, not only the theoretical uh, knowledge. This is requirement for modern medical education, and we are following this. Um, uh, which is which is necessary for medical mm -hmm. education. We uh, in Georgia we have now standards uh, which mm -hmm. is the same as in Europe, uh, and do we follow these standards? It means we have to have the final result of our education with these competencies which are mm -hmm. the same as in Europe and now in our country. Mm -hmm. We have not only GONI, we have now modernization of our programs. GONI allows students to see everything. They can uh, manage their study process with this electronic system. They can sh see when they have exams, when they have everything is post, post to students, any information, schedule, they are marks, they can check it in Goni from their home, from India as well maybe, or in the university, this is really a good thing, but now we have a new system, we have uh, uh, developed the program which allows us to check if the student is in the clinic because we can't dean office can't uh, monitor what is in the clinic mm -hmm. and this uh, program allows us to uh, check if student is uh, um, in this mm -hmm. place yeah. and how long students stay there we can manage mm -hmm. this situation mm -hmm. and we have electronic OSCE now it's new one. Mm -hmm. uh, for anatomy teaching we have anatomy theater which means that students can work on animal organs mm -hmm. to cut to see where the vessels are, where mm -hmm. the muscles etc. It's better for yes. them to understand and to see everything. Yeah. So, you know, I, I like all students, of course, because I'm dean of this faculty. Yeah. Uh, but I, I have to say that Indian students, they are more motivated. They, uh, they can understand why they are so far away from their homes. Yeah. They know that they need this knowledge because mm -hmm. when they will be back in their country, yes. they have to pass very hard exam. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think I have good Indian students and I'm happy with them. Not all of them, of course, but yeah. majority of them are, uh, really they perform, their performance uh, is good. I'm yeah. satisfied with the Indian students. They have to know that the medicine is not easy. Yeah. They have to understand that if they, they would choose this profession, they have to understand that they have to learn for whole life, mm -hmm. uh, they can finish, close the books and say, okay, I finished yeah. my six year education, everything is okay. No, I'm learning myself till today because yeah. medicine cannot, medicine is developing and developing. Yes. Student has to know that they have to learn for a of uh, life. Yeah. It's important. And second one, the program is not easy. And um, of course they will have a student's life. They will mm -hmm. have time for student's life. Mm -hmm. But maybe comparing with other professions, maybe they will have less time, yeah. less free time, mm -hmm. because they have to learn hard yes. to get this result, which mm -hmm. is important. It, this is humanity, this is human profession, they have responsibility, yeah. uh, they have to work face on face with yes. the patients mm -hmm. and this is really big responsibility. Mm -hmm. Now we have um, a new agreements with the two very big uh, mm -hmm. hospitals in uh, Tbilisi and um, uh, this is our really good relationship and we will develop our departments in these clinics mm -hmm. and uh, we have 
very successful doctors who are involved in our uh, mm -hmm. medical educational program. Uh, students, they have possibility to see patients, to be involved in the process mm -hmm. of uh, uh, diagnostic or treatment. Mm -hmm. Of course, students can't do something with patients, but we have for this purpose yeah. our simulation center mm -hmm. to be trained, yes. but they can see real patients and they can be involved in the process. Mm -hmm. They are in, all, in operation rooms they, uh, and participate in the mm -hmm. surgeon procedures and it's really important then for their future as a doctors, they have to yeah. have some practical knowledge as well. I invite here the best students only, only good students. Yeah. We, they are very welcome here mm -hmm. uh, because it will be then our face. They will mm -hmm. be back in India and uh, our success depends on how many students will pass successfully mm. these exams which they have to pass yes. in India. It means we need good basis yeah. and good basis they are good students who finished mm. their high school with high marks and mm. are motivated to study because we are we are really giving our best to yes. give them best education to mm. give then possibility to communicate with the best teachers in Georgia. Then we have to see results, yeah. good results. CIA is affiliated with six hospitals with various departments like ENT, Ortho, Cardiology and many more, which ensures clinical experience right from the first year. At Caucasus International University, we have renewed the medical program uh, and we have made the uh, new methods for the teaching and learning processes, uh, which includes the problem-based and clinical-based learning and uh, as well as the role play and uh, bedside teaching. This will involve the students more actively in the studying process and it will ensure more highly high quality for the students and education. Uh, besides this, we are going to implement the new methods for evaluation, which includes the objectively structured clinical and the practical exams. Uh, these methods are evaluating the students' achievements more fairly and more objectively. Uh, with my experience of teaching, I'm in touch with different nationalities of the students and uh, the Indian students are really uh, best ones because they are actively involved in the teaching as well as in uh, students' activities. They are participating in the conferences and uh, in the students' life which is happening at university. So we're here in Open Heart Clinic. Clinic is designed to uh, evaluate and treat cardiac patients. Uh, this is cardiac surgery, a very, very famous and important clinic for Georgia. Um, we have uh, lots of patients, uh, but clinic itself is multi-profile. We have other departments also in this hospital. It's great honor for me to give you some report about our medical center, which serves to aid our patients in different fields of medicine, including general surgery, neurosurgery, urology, angiosurgery, gynecology, to serve newborns and we have the different departments of ICU intensive care unit as well uh, for adults and for newborns also. CIU has one of the best dental faculty as well. Our faculty in CIU train us in such a way that we can crack global level exams like USMLE and we can explore worldwide opportunities. So I just want to tell you that there's many kind of chemistries we are teaching here. There's a medicinal chemistry, uh, analytical chemistry, qualitative and quantitative, as well as physical and colloidal chemistries, and I'm teaching also toxicological chemistry. Uh, finally, I just want to say that we have a lot of fun here with the students, and they are happy to be in Georgia, and they are very, very glad that people are very hospitable here. The equipment and the facilities available in the labs helps us to understand the practicals very easily. CIU has very well equipped labs with modernized technology which ensures updated and world-class education.
so we have this tia with us at um, she takes care of all the admission departments at Caucasus at the National University. Uh, so, uh, ma'am, I would like to ask you all the students from India who are looking forward to uh, join Caucasus at the National University. So, how will be the admission process uh, lined up for them as in the step by step process? Oh, most of the students are from India at our university. We have more than 800 students and uh, 30 35 students are from India. Mm. Uh, the admission procedures are uh, the same for all foreign students. Mm -hmm. uh, first step is that they have to submit all required documents. Uh, they have to send it by email. Okay. After uh, checking these documents, university is mm -hmm. preparing offer letter okay. for the, the applicants. And um, what will be the required the, the list of required documents and the mandatory documents? That well, the list of the required yeah. documents is copy of passport, mm -hmm. uh, copy of school living certificate. Mm -hmm. uh, if the applicant is under 18, in this case, uh, he or she should send the birth uh, uh, certificate and copy of uh, parents' passports. Okay. okay. This and field application form. Of the CIU application form. Yes, CIU application form. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for freshman students. For mm -hmm. transfer students or applicants who mm -hmm. are going to transfer right. from another university, they have to submit uh, just uh, uh, academic card, academic copy cards. of subjects that they have passed in their okay. university. Mm -hmm. And this, that's all. Okay, so um, after that, we also got to know that there's a Skype interview which is conducted in house uh, by the CIU. Uh, interview so like what are the questions as in why is the interview necessary the interview is necessary by uh, georgian legislation mm -hmm. uh, they changed this, they have changed this rule one year ago to uh, detect the level of english okay, of applicants okay. that's mm -hmm. why this regulation for every university of georgia Okay, so like after the Skype interview is done, what will be the next step for the students? Uh, the, stu the next step for the students is to wait for final order. Okay. okay? Uh, we are preparing the documents, uh, we are translating them to Georgian, notarizing them and then submitting uh, to the National Quality Center for recognition. Mm -hmm. Uh, after recognition, uh, is this document is sent to Ministry of Education and Science uh, uh, to issue an order of ministry about enrollment of the students at the university. Okay. This is final step so for enrollment. Mm -hmm. So like once uh, all the steps are done is what I get the documents from you on the mail and the same document is being used by me for the visa process yes. for the students and once the visa is stamped the student comes to the university so after that is it is there any other process the student has to go through once he's in the university okay when students uh, students arrive to georgia they have to pass english language exam oh, yes yes in case if a student uh, presents uh, uh, ilts or mm -hmm. TOEFL mm -hmm. certificate Mm -hmm. in, uh, of course in B2 level because right. this is a precondition of foreign programs. In this case the student has not to write a okay. language exam. Wonderful. So like once the language exam is done, so they start with their medical studies. And, no, and uh, after this they are able to pay tuition fees and right. just after this they will start, they start the with their, their yeah. medical studies. That's, that, that's one of it. Uh, there's one more question I would like to ask. How many intakes are, are available for the medical students at Caucasus National Institute? Uh, we have two intakes mm -hmm. every year. Okay. It's uh, autumn intake and spring it's intake. Autumn and spring intake. Yeah. As in, in which months do you do it for? Like to be very, very specific. Uh, the, uh, the, there is difference because for transfer students on autumn intake uh, we start from September and for freshmen we start from uh, October. Okay. And like uh, after the intakes, how is the vacation part of the students as in like uh, when do they have their vacations? They have vacations uh, on February and mm -hmm. on August. Okay. In February and in August. Okay. So is that time like they can travel back to their home country and come yeah. back? Yes. 
Okay. So if the student wants to leave Georgia like during the vacation and he wants to come back, so is there any documentation process to go through? Or so in this case, student does not need any document. Money. Yeah. Ms. Tia, what is the process for TRC? So uh, after final enrollment, uh, the, students have, the student has to order a reference in Georgian language mm -hmm. university and uh, they are submitting this recent residence to Justice House. Okay. With the residence, a copy of passport and payment. Payment depends uh, how many days mm -hmm. will take the, uh, to prepare the TRC, TRC card. Yes. And that's all. And they are submitting this document to the mm -hmm. Justice House. Okay. Yes. Does, does the same card will be used for the students uh, to go and uh, go yes. out to Georgia and come yeah. back? To all the students in India, uh, this is how the admission process works uh, from Caucasus International University. And yes, I will be personally be there in Mumbai, in Maharashtra, in India to uh, take care of all the other documentation process that we do it, uh, in India. Uh, so uh, whenever you come to Kaugasa National University, you can definitely meet Ms. Tia and she will guide you with all the other processes uh, in-house in Kaugasa National University. So uh, thank you so much ma'am, thank you so much for your wonderful time. It was a pleasure so meeting you. Thank you. So hi and welcome to a very informative episode of Caucasus International University. My name is Prajal and I'm here in Tbilisi, Georgia, visiting one of the greatest universities in Tbilisi, that is the Caucasus International University. Back there in India, many students who want to pursue their medical dreams opt for different, different options looking for universities abroad. But when it comes to CIU, when it comes to Georgia, it is one of the very best universities to choose from. And here I have with me Miss Tamari and uh, uh, the last time we had an interview she had visited our offices in multiple locations in India and we also had an in-depth interview about the facilities and the services that have been provided in CIU. So welcome Tamari ma'am again. Welcome. So firstly I wanted to uh, ask you the, my very first question. You visited uh, in India, you visited our multiple offices in India. How was the experience of you about education overseas? Uh, I can tell the one thing like it was very, uh, the, uh, it's for hard to wish we had a lot of work to do but it was so satisfying and so beautiful because we uh, didn't knew what to expect first time when we came and uh, this education overseas company and Dr. Sagar and all the boys who were around but they were the best hostess and they were doing all the best to make our presence over here easier and uh, the, uh, how to say, I was very proud of when I came back to uh, my university and I saw the same faces which one I saw in your offices so uh, this uh, is uh, like when I get the feeling that we were there not to waste some time or do some kind of funny things or laugh together yeah. or eat uh, taste India food just we worked hard and yeah, we get we the results together yeah exactly so like when you came to India it was enrollment process going on and now we have education overseas students studying in CIU yes. so have you observed those students and how are they performing they are performing very good because I have very close contact with them because mm -hmm. they know that uh, they have me over here to take mm -hmm. care of them so mm -hmm. I'm very close to them like uh, on WhatsApp every time we're exchanging mm -hmm. messages and I know what they have in overall like the, your students I, I have a very uh, good and satisfied feedbacks from your students mm -hmm. because they don't have English problems they are very disciplined they are very hard-working mm -hmm. so as I know from the Dean's office and from the lecturer they are very satisfied and I'm so glad to Mm -hmm. to get these results from education overseas. So ma'am, you've observed a lot of Indian students here in Georgia. So what exactly is the duration of time these students take when they come here in Georgia? The climate is a bit different. The education pattern is a bit different. What uh, amount know, of time <laughs> do they take? As I see now, the latest uh, uh, example what I had mm -hmm was like uh, it took week <laughs> really okay. it took week because mm -hmm. 
when they come, you know, I, I have had this experience because I have studied abroad, so I know when you are going into the foreign country, you feel more free, you yeah. feel more independent, you feel, but uh, at the safest country and the safest city, as Tbilisi is, yeah. you are more sure where are you, you mm -hmm. are doing so. This situation, what we have around here, maybe climate it be cold for them, yeah. yes, but they, they have the warm clothes. Mm -hmm. so. They are adjusting like perfectly because they they had fun <laughs> when I yeah, got last time. They were having fun, so it's good. They yeah. have it just a little bit Georgian problem mm -hmm. because they all have the interest to learn the Georgian. So we are helping them to like organizing the Georgian language courses, and they have already in the program of the medicine the Georgian courses. Yes. But if they want to study earlier mm -hmm. or to have a more strong Georgian, they are taking extra courses too. But yeah. As I know, the people in uh, Tbilisi, they know all English, so they don't mm -hmm. have uh, this yeah, kind of problem. Yeah, they don't face problem. such kind of yeah. issues, yeah. So, uh, being a student of medicine, right, yes. it is a very stressful process. You have to get up early, you have to, you know, consistently yeah. study because you have quizzes, you have tests. A lot. So, in all of this process, sometimes it is very good for a student to, you know, go a little offbeat, mm -hmm. you know, relax themselves. So, are there any extracurricular activities that happen in the university? A lot, but I want to say one thing. The, uh, the students which want to come on the medicine program, they, they don't choose it like, mm -hmm. they, they have strong feelings yes. to become a doctor. Mm -hmm. So, they, uh, they are having satisfaction for even mm -hmm. these quizzes, these exams, yes. because they know that they get the full result as mm -hmm. they will be doctors. So they mm -hmm. will have the patients, real mm -hmm. patients, and they will work in the hospital. So they are very determined to take yes. all of this mm -hmm. from what we can give from the mm -hmm. faculty. And as a matter of fact, we have a lot of things going on over here. We have basketball team, football team, football team. We have a lot of music bands. Mm -hmm. We have Indian dancing clubs. We have a lot of things what they are doing. We have even the Indian uh, students are dancing Georgian dance okay. and the Georgian the students are dancing Indian, dance. Indian. We have a lot of things going, mm -hmm. a lot of clubs, mm -hmm. uh, students' lives are very strong. We have mm -hmm. beautiful welcome parties and graduation mm -hmm. parties. So a lot of things going on over here. They, if they have time mm -hmm. after exams yes. and after this stressful program, mm -hmm. they, they will have, find a way to get away from the stress. Yeah, that's great, that's great. You are very welcome in our university. We uh, expect you, the people, the students who are determined to be a doctor, who know uh, how to take care of the persons, who have the responsibility, who wants to become a good doctor, we are expecting you here and you can enroll into CIU, Caucasus International University, through our precious agency, which one is Education Overseas. So contact them, please, and get your offer letters from our university. So thank you, Tamari ma'am, for your wise words. And uh, as ma'am said, that if you have any queries, any doubts back there in India, there is education overseas to your rescue and all the admission process, the recruitment process in the university will be done through education overseas. And here in Georgia, if you have any kind of problems, doubts, you can go to Tamari ma'am. And yes, of course, education overseas and all of us associates are here present in Georgia for your help and for your service. Choose Caucasus International University to fulfill your dream to be a good doctor.